take up to eight times the amount of water as rice. So one cup of rice and eight cups of water, and then you boil it. It may take like a, uh, an hour or so. If you have good rice, what happens is the rice kernel opens up. It opens up all the way, it kind of splits in half, and you see the little kernel there, and all of the rice is completely hydrated. That is good, because when that gets into your stomach, your body can break it up all the way, and by the time it gets to the small intestine, it can all be digested, and none of this complex carbohydrate is going to make it make its way down to the to the ileum or to the or to the colon where it could cause an allergy, <coughs> or it could cause irritation or anything like that. All of that uh, material can be absorbed and, and assimilated. This picture here of the rice opening up is, is here in the in the character. Each of these radicals here is a bow. This is a this is sort of a picture of this um, recurve reflexive bow that the Chinese developed very early that allowed them to have shorter bows that would shoot further and more accurately because of the, the increases in curves there. But so you have both of these bows here and then the meat, the rice in the middle. When you just make everyday rice, 90, maybe 90% of that, or 95 or even 97, let's say 99% of that is digested. But some of that complex carbohydrate, it makes its way down far enough into the, um, the small intestine where the body is no longer in the way of wanting to digest it. And when that, those undigested pieces of material are seen by the immune system, the immune system can create kind of a, um, a, an, an allergic type of response to it. It's irritated by it and you get a food allergy. So making this Joe every day where it's very easy for you to digest, it doesn't weight down your, your gut, your gut associated lymphoid tissue at all, and you get all of this nourishment right away first thing in the morning, nice and hot and whatnot, that's one of the best things that you can do for the spleen. But beyond that, avoiding very sweet foods, because sweet foods enter the spleen, but the spleen is actually benefited by salty foods. And Henry Liu has a book, he, it's called The Book of Joe. Oh. And, and it's all of these Joe recipes. So you can make a Joe for, for the lungs, or let's say you have dry eyes, or let's say you have whatever it is that you might have. You can add these herbs into the Joe and, and, and benefit. The Book of Joe by Henry Liu, it's a really good book, I'm sure you do.